everyone. I'm Elizabeth Texera, the Prevention Services Director here at Crisis Center of West Texas. I'm here with the rest of the prevention education team. And even though we are practicing social distancing this week, we wanted to come to you with some video content um, and start a process of posting weekly videos where we can address your questions about all things um, prevention, healthy communication, healthy relationships, and consent. Um, so this week we're just going to start out by introducing ourselves and then um, each of us are going to be addressing a different topic week by week depending on what you guys have questions about. So um, as the Director of Prevention Services, I'd be happy to answer any of your questions um, regarding our facilities, such as when we're going to reopen our admin offices, um, when we're going to be back in the community doing um, community outreach, things like that. I'd also be happy to talk to parents and teachers about how to be a supportive adult in the life of a teenager at this time. And now um, we'll introduce you to the rest of the team. Hi guys, my name is Cece. Some of you guys may recognize me, maybe you don't. Um, I work as a education, uh, prevention education specialist here at the Crisis Center. I'm typically in classrooms giving lessons to students. Um, some of you may recognize me from our after school programs that we do. I'm gonna be talking to you guys about healthy relationships over the next few weeks while we're doing this online. So if you have any questions like, is this okay to happen in a relationship? Or me and my partner, this happened between us, um, what should I do, that type of thing. Um, go ahead and ask me here on social media and I'll answer your questions. The next person I wanna introduce is Amy. She's our newest addition to our um, prevention team. She's also in schools giving lessons to students but she's gonna be talking to you guys about healthy communication. So if you have a question like, my best friend uh, told everybody a secret that I told her not to tell anybody. How should I approach her? What should I say? Those are the types of things you can ask Amy about. And then lastly, Dom Maurice, she also is um, doing the same thing that me and Amy do. She's in the classroom with students, but she also does our team leadership council. She's gonna be talking to you guys about consent over the next few weeks. So if you have any questions like, should I still ask consent to hug my girlfriend of two years, right? Go ahead and ask her those questions. Um, and we'll have some great conversations here through social media. We still wanna be talking to you guys about these really important things. So feel free to um, reach out to us. Yeah, so that's it for now, guys. Keep an eye out for a very similar video that we'll be posting all in Spanish. Um, and then as the week goes on, feel free to ask us any of those questions that you might have on the topics we just talked about or other topics, you can ask us those questions by commenting on these videos or by DMing us on Facebook or Instagram. You can also email us at elizabeth at ccwtx.org. We will try to address all of your questions on a week by week basis through these videos. Um, but we also wanna make sure that if you or someone you know is currently experiencing intimate partner violence or who has been sexually assaulted, we are still offering our services to survivors of domestic violence or sexual assault. And so a survivor can access those services by calling our 24-7 hotline at 866-627-4747. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care of yourselves, and we hope to see you soon. Bye, guys.